I'm a former military police officer. I'm here today because of the truth about unidentified aerial phenomenon. That truth remains hidden. Today, we are here to help break that silence. A chilling bulletin from the United States Space Force confirms what many feared. Object 3I Atlas has an early impact prediction. On the 1st of July, NASA detected a mysterious object speeding toward Earth. This dramatic shift has triggered an unprecedented level of urgency within global defense networks. The implications are staggering, from revised planetary defense strategies to immediate public safety concerns. You see, the universe always holds surprises, but few are as unnerving as a colossal object speeding towards our world with a little warning. The most shocking fact is the rapid acceleration. When the stars fall closer. The initial detection of 3I Atlas wasn't particularly alarming. It was categorized as a routine near-Earth object, or NEO, a term that broadly covers asteroids and comets whose orbits bring them within 30 million miles of our planet's path. The Space Force, through its vast network of sensors and telescopes, maintains a vigilant watch over these objects. Many people are crazy about the idea of space rocks impacting Earth, but the truth is most are harmless, burning up in our atmosphere, or passing by at a safe distance. Yet 3I Atlas has proven to be an anomaly, a cosmic curveball thrown with unexpected force. What truly sent shivers down the spines of the planet's most brilliant minds was the recent recalibration of its trajectory. Original projections placed 3I Atlas on a path that would keep it well clear of Earth, perhaps hundreds of thousands of miles away. But new data gathered from advanced telescopic arrays and deep space tracking systems paints a different, far more concerning picture. The object, estimated to be roughly 1,500 feet in diameter, about a quarter of a mile, has undergone a significant orbital alteration. This isn't a small deviation, it's a dramatic shift that has cut the estimated time to a potential impact by several months. Imagine a colossal bullet, previously aimed to miss, now veering sharply toward its target. The most shocking fact is the speed of this change. This kind of sudden orbital adjustment in a celestial body is rare, almost unheard of for an object of this size that isn't actively being manipulated by a strong gravitational force from a large planet. The question on everyone's mind is, what caused this? Was it a close encounter with an unknown mass in the dark stretches of space? A subtle outgassing event like a mini rocket thrust from a comet-like structure? Or something far more mysterious, something that challenges our current understanding of celestial mechanics? The data, even with all our advanced tools, only offers hints. The United States Space Force operates a critical network, including the Space Surveillance Network, which tracks objects in orbit around Earth. This network, with its ground-based radars and telescopes, along with space-based sensors, usually provides ample warning for even small debris. For something the size of 3I Atlas, a quarter mile wide, it's a blinking red light on every monitor. To understand the scale, consider that the Chelyabinsk meteor, which exploded over Russia in 2013, causing widespread damage and injuring over 1,200 people, was only about 65 feet across. 3I Atlas is nearly 23 times larger. The energy it carries would be equivalent to several hundreds of megatons of TNT, dwarfing even the most powerful nuclear weapons ever tested. You can see this everywhere in the hushed tones of news reports and the frantic activity behind closed doors. The early impact scenario means the usual protocols for planetary defense are being compressed. Typically, with a long lead time, agencies like NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office and international partners would develop and deploy strategies ranging from kinetic impactors to gravity tractors, all designed to subtly nudge an object off course. But with an early impact, options become severely limited. We're talking about a matter of months, not years or decades, to respond. This is a game changer, forcing a reevaluation of every contingency plan. The urgency is palpable, a race against a cosmic clock ticking faster than anyone believed possible. What this USSF briefing truly means for the average person remains largely unsaid, a deliberate choice to prevent widespread panic. But the fact that such a high-level briefing is happening at all, with classified information being discussed among the highest echelons of power, suggests that the threat is being taken with extreme seriousness. 
The world's governments are preparing for possibilities that, until now, felt like science fiction. What could these preparations possibly entail? The Invisible Hand of Space The immediate shift in the trajectory of 3i Atlas has ignited a furious scientific debate. What force could be powerful enough to alter the path of an object weighing billions of tons so significantly? It's not simply a matter of a few degrees. The change is profound enough to shift it from a near miss to a direct hit. Many people are quick to jump to outlandish conclusions, but the scientific community relies on observable phenomena and rigorous calculations. And this is where the mystery deepens. One leading theory centers on a gravitational keyhole. Imagine a series of cosmic doorways in space, areas where even a slight gravitational tug from a planet or another large celestial body can dramatically alter an incoming object's trajectory. These keyholes are incredibly precise, often only a few hundred feet wide, but if an object passes through one, its path can be irrevocably altered. The thing nobody tells you is how incredibly intricate and sensitive these gravitational interactions are. A tiny nudge at just the right moment, years or even decades ago, could set an object on a drastically different course later on. Perhaps three I Atlas encountered a previously uncatalogued object, a dark asteroid or even a small black hole, though the latter is highly unlikely given the observed orbital characteristics. Another possibility involves outgassing. If 3i Atlas is not a solid, inert asteroid, but rather a comet with pockets of volatile ice, solar radiation could cause these ices to rapidly sublimate, essentially acting like small thrusters. Even a small amount of gas, expelled at high velocity, can impart a significant change in momentum over long periods. The most shocking fact is that these seemingly minor forces can accumulate to produce enormous changes in trajectory over millions of miles. The Atlas survey, which helps us find these objects, relies on seeing the light they reflect. If a part of the object became more reflective or less, it could hint at a change in its surface. The data gathered by the USSF and its partners across the globe, including NASA and European Space Agency telescopes, has been analyzed and reanalyzed by supercomputers running complex orbital mechanics simulations. These simulations consider every known gravitational influence, the Sun, Jupiter, Saturn, and even the subtle tug of Earth itself. Yet the current trajectory of 3i Atlas defies easy explanation. It's behaving as if an unknown force has given it an extra push, a cosmic slingshot that has accelerated its journey towards our home. This isn't just about pinpointing an object, it's about understanding the very fabric of space and its hidden dynamics. The technical specifications of how such an object is tracked are incredibly sophisticated. Observatories worldwide contribute data, often using a technique called astrometry to precisely measure the object's position against background stars. Radar astronomy also plays a crucial role, bouncing radio waves off the object to determine its exact distance, velocity, and even its shape and rotation. To put it mildly, this isn't just looking through a telescope, it's like performing surgery from millions of miles away. The margin for error is incredibly small, often measured in fractions of an arc second, a unit of angular measurement equivalent to 1 3,600th of a degree. A human hair held at arm's length is about 30 arc seconds wide, so we are talking about pinpointing an object with incredible precision. The USSF's urgent briefing means that the uncertainty factor, once a comfortable buffer, has drastically narrowed. The probability of impact, previously negligible, has risen to a level that demands immediate and serious attention. We are no longer discussing if, but when, and where, albeit with a degree of statistical probability. This shift from theoretical concern to tangible threat is what has catalyzed the unprecedented alert. What if the object holds even more secrets? Secrets that could affect our defenses. A prayer and a plan. With the reality of an early impact looming, the United States Space Force, in conjunction with international space agencies, is now actively evaluating a range of planetary defense options. The luxury of a long planning cycle is gone, replaced by the frantic pace of an emergency response. You see, while many people are crazy about fictional asteroid redirection missions, the real science is far more complex and time-sensitive. 
One of the most discussed methods, the kinetic impactor, involves sending a spacecraft to simply smash into the incoming object. The goal isn't to destroy it, but to slightly alter its velocity, thereby shifting its orbital path enough for it to miss Earth. Even a change of a few miles per hour, applied far enough out in space, can result in a missed distance of thousands of miles by the time the object reaches our planet. However, the effectiveness of a kinetic impactor depends heavily on the object's composition and the warning time available. With 3i Atlas, the limited time frame and its unknown makeup, is it a solid rock, a rubble pile, or something else entirely, make this a risky proposition. The most shocking fact is that a miscalculation could actually break the object into many smaller, still dangerous pieces. Another theoretical approach is the gravity tractor. This involves flying a heavy spacecraft alongside the object for an extended period. The tiny gravitational pull between the spacecraft and the asteroid over time would subtly tug the asteroid off course. This method is elegant because it doesn't require a direct impact and is less likely to fragment the object. However, it demands a much longer lead time, often years, to achieve a significant deflection. Given the early impact nature of 3i Atlas, a gravity tractor seems less feasible, at least for a full deflection. This means creative and perhaps even desperate measures are on the table. What many overlooked is the sheer engineering challenge involved in any such mission. Launching a spacecraft requires meticulous planning, from rocket selection to trajectory calculations that must be accurate to within inches over millions of miles. And you can see this everywhere in the intensity of the engineers working around the clock. The launch window must be precise, often a matter of days or even hours, to intercept a fast-moving target in the vastness of space. For 3i Atlas, with its accelerating trajectory, these windows are shrinking rapidly. Building a spacecraft from scratch, testing it and launching it within months is a monumental task, pushing the boundaries of current space technology. Beyond direct deflection, the USSF briefing also covers terrestrial mitigation strategies. This includes detailed mapping of potential impact zones, developing emergency response plans, and even considering large-scale evacuations if an impact becomes a certainty. The calculations are based on complex models that factor in the object's size, speed, and angle of entry. An object the size of 3i Atlas could create a crater miles wide and trigger tsunamis if it impacts an ocean, or unleash a firestorm if it hits land. The energy release would be catastrophic, far exceeding anything modern humanity has ever witnessed. The thing nobody tells you is the psychological toll such a threat takes on those in charge. The weight of potential global upheaval rests on their shoulders. Every piece of data, every simulation result, every proposed action is scrutinized with an intensity that borders on the desperate. The urgent tone of the briefing isn't just about the physical threat, it's about the race against time and the desperate hope that some unforeseen solution might emerge. Are there hidden options? Perhaps technologies we don't even know exist? When reality outpaces, science fiction, the unsettling behavior of 3i Atlas raises questions that go beyond conventional astronomy. Its accelerating trajectory and unexpected course correction have left many experts scratching their heads. You see, but not all things are what they seem in the vastness of space, and there are theories, some bordering on the unconventional, attempting to explain this anomaly. One intriguing, if speculative, idea is the influence of a dark companion. Imagine a smaller, perhaps nearly invisible object, gravitationally bound to 3i Atlas, whose recent breakup or close pass could have exerted a disruptive force. Dark objects, like very small black holes or brown dwarfs, are incredibly hard to detect directly, and their presence is usually inferred by their gravitational effects on other bodies. While highly improbable for an object this close to Earth, the notion highlights how much of the cosmos remains truly unknown to us. The most shocking fact is that our deepest space telescopes, like the James Webb Space Telescope, only cover a tiny fraction of the sky at any given moment. Another theory, often discussed in hushed tones, involves the Yarkovsky effect. This is a subtle force that acts on asteroids and comets due to the uneven emission of thermal radiation from their surfaces. 
As the object rotates, different parts heat up and cool down, creating a tiny asymmetric thrust that can, over long periods, significantly alter an object's orbit. While usually associated with smaller, less massive objects, an unusually porous or rapidly rotating 3i atlas could experience a more pronounced Yarkovsky effect. The thing nobody tells you is how precisely we need to understand an object's physical properties to accurately predict these subtle influences. Even a small change in surface reflectivity could amplify this effect. What many overlooked is that our understanding of the asteroid belt and the Kuiper belt, regions where many NEOs originate, is still evolving. There could be millions of objects that are simply too small or too dark to be easily observed by our current technology. The three I Atlas briefing shakes us awake to our cosmic neighborhood's raw power. Will this urgent warning be enough to truly unite humanity against future threats? Like and subscribe to uncover more hidden truths.